Hi, in this module we'll talk about understanding classroom technology integration. So for decades, teachers have known that classroom contexts are extremely complicated and complex and they involve and require a number of competencies uh, to successfully support learning. Uh, researchers have been studying those teacher competencies for decades. And one of the things they found is that there are two overarching competencies that especially play into great teaching. The first is an understanding of content. So you have a deep understanding of the knowledge and skills within your field. The second is an understanding of pedagogy or how to teach that content. So with those two understandings, the overlap or the intersection between those two is where you can really get some innovative teaching. So this was true up through the mid 80s. And then what happens is you kind of have this pr proliferation or this rise in technology, all kinds of different hardware, software applications that come along that can be used in the classroom. And administrators would give this give this technology to some of their best teachers the teachers who had a great overlap in terms of their pedagogical and content competencies and sometimes what they saw in the classroom with those technologies was kind of a disconnect what was happening didn't kind of didn't meet the soaring rhetoric of what that technology was supposed to make possible and so other researchers came up with this idea that, well, there's also a technological knowledge that's a competency that's also important in understanding innovative teaching. So the new model uh, was based on this idea that if you had strong content knowledge, you had strong pedagogical knowledge of how to teach that content, and then you had strong technological knowledge with the specific technologies that you'd use in teaching that content, that's where you have the opportunity to do some 21st century innovation. So let's take an example. This is Laura. She teaches geometry at the high school level. In terms of her content knowledge, she's got a master's degree in mathematics. She did her thesis on Euclidean geometry, so she's highly competent. Pedagogical knowledge, she has six years. She's been teaching uh, geometry in the high, at the high school level. She's also the chair of the mathematics department. So those are things that, that might correlate with, with having some strong pedagogical knowledge as well. Finally, in terms of technological knowledge, she primarily uses technology for administration and social uses and is a heavy user of Google Docs and Facebook. So if we would think about her potential to hit that 21st century innovation in, in our classrooms, we might expect her to first think about how she might use Google Docs in the classroom. She could maybe do some innovative things there, especially with collaborative curriculum mapping with her fellow educators. She might think about integrating some of the Facebook content around geometry into her classroom and with her students. But when it comes to using a program such as Geometer Sketchpad, she might fall a little bit short of that innovative sweet spot. And so thinking about how to get her to the goal of innovation with the technology would probably involve several different steps. So first, she and yourselves should start with what you know. So if you know Facebook, if you know Google Docs, start there and branch out from there in terms of integrating technology. Also, collaborating with others, your peers or students in the classroom who bring complementary understandings can be a powerful way to kind of give yourself a, a nudge up in terms, of, in terms of getting to that space of innovative, innovative teaching and classroom use of technology. Also, try to think about time spent playing with or getting to know an unfamiliar technologies as part of your job. And, and as important work. You're not wasting time when you're playing with Geometer Sketchpad. If you don't create a wide base and a deep understanding of the tool, how do you expect to innovate with that tool? And finally, be patient with emerging technologies because no one knows 
deeply those emerging technologies. And so it's going to take some time. And so there may not be uh, very many resources for you. Uh, and so you might have to uh, spend extra time working to gain those competencies, that technolo technological competency, so that you can hit that sweet spot of innovation, 21st century innovation in your classroom, integrating technologies.